Well, it's arrived, Thanksgiving season. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I just wanted to take some time to talk to you about being grateful. I know it's not easy as we go through the year and we face issues and troubles and hardships that take our focus away from being thankful for what God has done for us. Good morning. Welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. I know it's not always easy, but what a great time of year to specifically bring our focus to being grateful and thankful for all God's done in our life. King David went through a lot of things as well, but he had a couple great Psalms that I wanna share with you regarding Thanksgiving. Psalm 100 verse four and five says, "'Enter his gates with thanksgiving "'and his courts with praise. "'Give thanks to him, praise his name, "'for the Lord is good, his love endures forever, and his faithfulness continues through all generations. We can sure be thankful for that, can't we? Thankful for our Lord who's good and faithful and loves us forever. And then one more verse over in chapter 34. This is a great challenge for us. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be on my mouth. That's not easy, is it? to bless the Lord at all times and to praise him at all times in all circumstances. So let's take some time through this season, today, tomorrow, over the weekend, and just focus on being grateful. What are you thankful for today? Let me begin. I'm thankful for my wife of 39 years who loves me far more than I probably deserve. She's been a great helpmate. I'm thankful for my daughter. Beautiful, smart, she always makes us proud. For her husband, Paul, for their three children. What an incredible family, and it's just amazing to be uh, a part of having them in our lives. I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for health. I may have a few aches and pains, but I'm healthy. What about friends? I'm grateful for all the friends and extended family that I have. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be a part of Fearless Faith Ministries and work with Dan and Brian and see this ministry flourish. I don't take it for granted. I'm grateful and look forward to the days ahead. Most of all, I'm thankful for the grace and mercy of my Lord and Savior, Jesus. What a relationship we have. You know, he found me. He sought me out and found me as a little eight-year-old boy. And I accepted him at that point and have had many years of serving him and being faithful. He's never let me down. And he gives me a peace that passes all understanding as I know that one day I'll be in eternity with him. What are you thankful for today? Do you have a grateful heart? Do you have a thankful heart today? Please focus on that with me as we share. Would love for you to share this video with others so we can all bring into focus the importance of being gra uh, grateful and thankful for all that God's done for us. God bless you today. Enjoy the holidays. Have a great weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless.